four months separates these two players in age. The wiry 6-3 and a terrific start to 2000, John. He's a Michael Chang, looked good for two sets, fought hard. Nicholas LePenny, the talented Ecuadorian, and those four years old. That's the 12-month rank, and he's three in the world. Leads the race. Sargizi, an easy win there in the third round. Medvedev, last year's finals, destroyed him. Safin. And then he really started playing well in Hamburg. Beat Magnus easily there. That's what Magnus would. Well, Norman started strongly, but let that one get away. When you're nervous, you just, it's hard to hold back. See, Norman did a good, smart thing there. He, he took some. There's the angles. Sight. Sadly for me, it's all Spanish and it looked like a little feel. Portuguese mixed in. Maybe more than a little bit than Guga. He's a fit guy. So the start is all Kirtan. Three low. That's exactly what's taking place. He's, he doesn't have any confidence right now, so he's going to have to work his way back up there, get, get a feel. You mentioned a name, uh... Chalanta. That's smack on the line. He's well-groomed there. Later, they'd be playing Davis Cup in Australia. Yeah, they don't even get there to Tuesday. Sure. No. Now there's... ...glasses when we watch him play. There's the drop shot. Tennis that you love from Guga. He looks like this is the one thing in the world he wants to be doing. He, even his grunt sounds like uh, is, is nicer than other people's. Pleasant. Best two players' records on clay, Kirtan and Norman. Great point. Third ace. Minor events. Rome was his biggest win ever. There goes. Well, I'd say Spunk is fitting. <laughs> he wins it on a drop shot. So Gustavo Kierton, not threatened at all. Outstanding tennis, and he captures the first set of the French Open. He's just not working hard enough out there yet.
at Johnny Holly. Oh, no. And Norman showing. John, you, you spoke yesterday of what? Five years old. He did. He balked, and then he still threw the racket. And the funny thing is, Google gave him the call. The plane left. Imagine if they called. Too bad. Coming back if he can't converse or <laughs> break points. Avantage. Well, uh, well, there's a rarity for Martina uh -huh. Hingis siding, and not only that, she keeps scooting down a few rows. To <laughs> I get up at 8 a.m. to run. When it works, it down another break point. Once again, going for too much. So the second break of the... She's a cheerer for Magnus, but nothing seems to be going right for him. Well, it's nice to know that in Sweden that uh, they are starting to pay more attention. That's something Norman has been very vocal about. But right now, in the first game of the match on the serve. Yes. Lost that game, and he just fell apart. Same with Sanchez Vicar, up love 40. And seems like that first game, awful important to set the tone. Unforced errors. I ask you, John, from what you've seen of Matt. Kids off the line and long. And finally, Magnus Norman with a break. Another miss hit. It's Blake Norman for two sets. And now Kuga can start to see it. Three years ago, at age 20, he was a French Open champ. Dominating here, Borg, his great runs at the French, Mats.
Three Frenches. It still looks he's like he's going to get out of the game. And there's a classic case. He served. The Brazilians will have a, a great time. Again, they're a lot farther away, though. There's some. Just in, skid it off. When you've hit a winner or the guy misses it, and uh, that hadn't taken place yet. And, and particularly with what he's capable of. Racket preparation is something that Norman has not done well today. Well, you're not at your level. No. Now that's shot. Get a first serve in. Go to the lower part of the net there. See, then you build a little confidence. Uh, no well, he came in on that second serve. They tacked it, and Norman is up a break in the third. It's getting brighter, it's getting warmer. Take that, Guga. Knocked out in the quarters by Medvin. <laughs> Who'd ever have thought that? Avantage. <laughs> Quiet. Oh. So Magnus Norman is still alive, and he'll serve. Something nor abnormal not to have a hiccup on Clay in a best of five. Well, there's Magnus Norman looking like the real deal. His seventh ace gives him the third set. <laughs> Gustavo Kierton during that last changeover just got a a rub down and a warm up. We're told, John, this is a warming cream. And that is what we've been waiting for. Now, that is not something he learned from Stefan Edberg, is it? That's something he learned from Jim Currier, yes. I think. It's a totally different guy out there now, Ted. On both sides of the court. Here.
It's in. That's and Guga now. Totally impassive. That's a tough shot. that for defense yet still loses the point cover the body particularly when that heat is as hot as it can be in the summer in new york once again power too much andre one of those that does like to pump the iron Open and then coverage of the U.S. Open begins Thursday at 3 Eastern on NBC. Yeah, you said it before, Ted, and you said it well. Swede back up in the fourth set. Guga the ones slowing down. See how tired he looked there? <laughs> the good news, he's okay. Yeah. Chang took some of Even Michael uh, wore him down a bit. And it's just what Google. Juice there. Well, the Brazilians, I think, got all of. Well, as you know, Ted, what set lead? And there he gets it. So Matt. Yeah. The sky's asking for one more point. Yeah. 
Wow. Can a championship be decided on that? Well, no, it won't be. <laughs> Francois Perrault of France says, no, you won't win it that way, Guga. Unbelievable. And that may be the McEnroe one millionth of the ball that clipped the line. Well, we're certainly not going to be able to tell on that replay. This is third shot. Sticking out. <laughs> he on quartz. Still can unleash it. Oh. <laughs> what next? Nineteen minutes. Jeff. And finally, Norman holds. 
Perhaps never has a man worked so hard to hold. Let's not count him out quite yet. <laughs> it's often four. Five, three. Well, that went it the hard way. So long, you can tell Google. He has saved ten. And here comes number eleven. present the Musketeers Cup, Coupe des Mousquetaires, named after four of the greatest French tennis players in history. They were French teammates and Davis Cup champions in the late 20s. And for the second time, Gustavo Kierton holds the Coupe des Mousquetaires aloft. You talk about someone who deserves it. Two sets to one down in the quarters, two sets to one down in the semis, and then that drama in the final. Back on court, Sun Prowl now. The runner up plate being given to a most deserving warrior, Magnus Norman. One would imagine he had his own case of stage fright in the first two sets, but when he got going today, he played magnificent tennis. He's got a lot to be proud of. Hello, everyone. Uh, here I am again. I'm so happy to, to be here, share this moment. Also with my brother, my grandmother, my coach, Braga, special people for me, and uh, everybody here. I was very nervous. <laughs> very, very nervous to finish the match, and also nervous now to talk. It's always difficult. So it's, for me, here, everything began. I appeared for the world first time, playing for, you know, from nowhere, and start to play, having fun, enjoy, and finishing winning on 97. So I think it uh, was the first time for me that I, 
I really start to, to live my dreams. And now another dream come true. I'm, uh, I couldn't imagine that I could come back here again. So it's tough to say, just a great moment for me. I hope to be back here. Thanks for everybody. See you next year. Thanks, Boris. Congratulations, Omar. Uh. On court, on Kral now, words from the runner-up, Magnus Norman. First of all, I would like to congratulate Guga and Larry. You, you did a great job and you really deserve to win. Congratulations. I would like to thank the people that supported me this week, my coach, Kalle, Pelle, Lars, Sofia, and uh, Chris and Ricardo from Nike. We did a great job this week. We didn't go all the way, but uh, next year we'll be back and hopefully we'll win then. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know why the TV, my mother and my brother didn't come. A big kiss for you, mother. See you. <laughs> Google sending that.